Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now today I'm looking at how to install Windows 10 on your Raspberry Pi 4. So this is real Windows 10 on an ARM processor. As you can see, it's the Raspberry Pi's ARM A72 Cortex chip with its four cores. Now currently I have this running at stock speed, but you could overclock to 2 GHz. Now with this release, we also have access to 3 GB of RAM. Now with previous releases, this was limited to 1 GB. So with this current release, we should see a boost in performance. Now I'm running this on a 32 GB micro SD card. Now currently, Ethernet and sound are not working on this version, but you can use USB adapters for sound and Ethernet, as all of the USB ports on the Raspberry Pi are working. So after you plug in your USB Ethernet dongle, it should pop up in your task manager. So without further ado guys, let's get this installed on our Raspberry Pi. So getting this installed onto your Raspberry Pi is quite straightforward. Just head on over to the Discord channel Windows on Raspberry Pi. All links in the description guys. Amir's done a lot of work on this, so thanks to him. Now if you scroll down, you'll see that Luke's provided us with a preloaded image. So all we have to do is download this and flash it onto an SD card using something like Pi Imager or Etcher. Click on the link and you'll get redirected to the download site. And then just click download. Now it's 3.6 gigabytes, so it should take about 10 minutes. Now I'm also going to download and install Paragon Partition Manager. This is available for both Windows and Mac, and we're going to be using it to expand the file system once it's flashed onto the SD card, so we can make full use of the space on the SD card. Now, the image we downloaded from Discord was in a compressed format, so I've uncompressed it using the Mac Zip utility. Now, if you're using Windows, WinZip will work just as good. The next thing we need to do is flash the uncompressed image onto an SD card, and I'm using Bedina Etcher to do this. All links in the description below, guys. Click on Select Image, and browse to where you unzipped your image file. Click on it and select open. Now we need to make sure we have the destination selected as our SD card. By default it's not selected, so I'm going to select it now. Click on continue and then flash. It'll take between 10 and 15 minutes to flash and then verify your OS on your SD card. You'll then get the following message to confirm the flash has been completed successfully. Now if we take a closer look at the properties of the SD card, you'll see that the operating system is only using 130 meg out of the 32 gigabytes available. So to remedy this, we need to expand the operating system on the SD card. And to help us do this, we're going to use the Paragon Partition Manager we downloaded earlier. Now, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see your SD card. Just double check that it is your SD card. As you can see, I only have one gigabyte free on my Windows partition, and over 20 gigabytes of the card are empty. So we're going to expand the file system to occupy this empty space. By right-clicking on the Windows partition, we'll bring up a menu, and from there we need to scroll down and select Move or Resize Partition. And in the next window, I'm going to resize the Windows partition so that it occupies most of the empty space on the SD card. And then just click on the OK button. To complete the action, we need to click on Apply Operation. Now this can take anything up to 10-15 minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. Once it's complete, just click on the Close button and we're done. And if we scroll down to our SD card, you'll see that the Windows file system is fully expanded on the SD card. All that remains now is to eject your SD card from your PC and place it in your Raspberry Pi and boot up. Now the first boot up should take up to about 10-15 minutes as Windows sets everything up. Now do remember, to get internet access you need to connect a USB to Ethernet dongle. I've also connected a USB mouse and keyboard. Just like a real Windows installation you need to set up your region and also your keyboard region. And mine is the United Kingdom. And I just went through and did a basic install. No Cortana and no location based content. Basically a no frills install. Gives our little ARM processor a better chance of coping with Windows 10. So now we're on the final steps. And that's it guys, it's as simple as that. We're into Windows 10 on the Raspberry Pi 4. And if we take a quick look around, we can see we're in familiar surroundings. We've got Windows accessories, we've got Windows administration tools, and we've got a little Raspberry Pi icon here to change account settings and lock and sign out. And we've also got access to the Microsoft software store. But like I mentioned earlier, we need to connect our USB to Ethernet dongle. Now mine's currently on order. Now when you do get the internet up and running, the first thing you should do is install your web browser, which in this case is the Edge browser. And you just click on this icon here. And that's it guys, you're up and running on Windows 10. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, give us a like, and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.